The other reason leadership gets a challenge is we tend to think about leadership in terms of what works for me, how I like to be led, how I like to work, how I like to get things done. And when you're leading folks, you got to think about what works for them. It was interesting. When I started speaking to corporate and association audiences about 10 years ago, I'd go around and there would be a Q&A session and somebody put their hand up. And the question goes something like this. General, I got this problem. Usually a baby boomer, older. So what's the problem? He said, I got these millennials working for me. They ain't getting it. They're all techie and understand. I don't get it. So we talk about that a little bit. I give them a couple thoughts and advice. Because one of the good things about the Army is I work with them every day. Well, now I'm speaking to corporate association audiences. The hands are going up. And it's a very well-dressed, polite millennial who puts his hand up and says, General, can you give me a hand? I said, what is he? He said, well, you're about the age. Hey, I got these baby boomers working for me. <laughs> he said, they're not getting it. I said, what do you mean? He says, they come in. He said, no, they're good. They're nice enough people. They come in at 7 o'clock. They sit at their desk. They bring their lunch. They eat lunch at their desk. They work all day till 5 o'clock, but they don't get anything done. They're slow. You give them technology, and it's, they don't get it done. They don't get, it takes a long time. Do you have any advice here? And I see it. Yeah. And now the next, it's very interesting to watch. Millennials are getting to the age now where they're having children. And it's very interesting to watch. There were no controls, very few controls over millennials and technology, were there? They just used tech whenever they wanted to. Watch a millennial and their children in technology. I walked into one of their homes, and uh, there was a basket there. I said, what's that for? That's where the tech stuff goes when you come in the house. You don't bring it to the dinner table. You don't bring it to the family room. We don't have one of these situations where we're all in the same house, and you're texting me a note. So it's kind of interesting. So every generation changes. Folks say, millennials are different. And I tell baby boomers, baby boomers, well, millennials are different. I go, shut up. <laughs> you a millennial, too. They go, no, I wasn't. They say, yeah, ask your parents. My mom and dad, 1965, lying in bed looking at each other saying, we have failed. <laughs> he stays on the phone all day, and he likes, he likes the Rolling Stones instead of Perry Como. Where did we go wrong? <laughs> Perry Como, you can look it up. <laughs> but we tend to think about leadership in terms of what works for us. Step back for a second, look at who's working with you, what works for them. What connects with them? What butters their biscuit? Work from their perspective.